right, module nine. Again, it's got a couple of uh, sections, maybe three. Um, anyway, uh, we'll go through the whole module because it's not a long module. Uh, take your notes, enjoy the lesson. This is material handling. Module nine, intro to materials handling. Again, this has a couple of sections. We'll go through them here now, uh, all in one video. Uh, module 9, Section 1, Material Handling Objective. Describe the basic concept of material handling and common safety precautions. Describe the basic concepts of material handling and manual lifting. Identify common material handling safety precautions. Identify and describe how to tie knots commonly used in material handling, the performance tasks. Demonstrate safe manual lifting techniques. Demonstrate how to tie two of the following common knots. Square, bowline, half hitch, and clove hitch. The first note is pre-task planning. Before attempting to lift any material, always assess the situation by doing the following. Make sure the load does not have protruding nails, wires, or sharp edges. That's important, write it down. Proper lifting and lowering procedures to reduce the risk of back injuries, use proper lifting techniques. Bend at your knees and get a good grip. This is a note. Lift with your legs. Keep your back straight and keep your head up. Another note. Before attempting to lower an overhead load, you should consider the following. Size up the load. Meaning, if it's too heavy to have been lifted by one person to its current location, then it's probably too heavy for one person to take it down. All right, and here is that lifting technique. You're going to bend at the knees, get a good grip, keep your back straight, lift with the legs. This will help prevent lower back injuries. Stack bag material by stepping back the layers and cross keying the bags at least every 10 bags high. That's a note. I'll show you an image of what cross keying looks like. It is staggered and stepped back. So you see this bag is going this way, this bag is going this way. So there's two runs of bags here and they're running this way and cross keying this way. So they're all kind of interlocked. All right, we're talking about the knots. That's gonna be in the performance task. Uh, this is a square knot, and this is how to tie it. All right, this is the figure for tying that bow line. Steps one through five. Here are some figures showing you how to tie that half hitch. A clove hitch, we will have a note in that right here. Be able to, to identify this clove hitch. And the next clove hitch note would be a common technique for tying a clove hitch around a post or timber is to use two half hitches. Write that down. This is going through tying that. One half hitch, loop, second half hitch, stack, and it's tight. That'll do for section one. Let's continue on. Section two, material handling equipment. Objectives, identify various types of material handling equipment and describe how they are used, identify non-motorized handling, material handling equipment, and describe how they're used, identify motorized material handling equipment, and describe how they are used. Non-motorized material handling equipment can include material carts, hand trucks, cylinder carts, drum dollies, drum carts, roller skids, wheelbarrows, pipe mules, pipe transports, and pallet jacks. Material carts, use carting when you moving a cart, as seen here on an inclined or declined surface and never load the cart past its labeled weight capacity. That's a note. Cylinder carts. Another note, high pressure gas cylinders or bottles should be transported on cylinder carts. Here is a cylinder cart. Roller skids. Some roller skids are equipped with rotating table surface. Write that down. Here's a roller skid and this has a rotating uh, table surface. This would be how you lift it and transport the material. Motorized material handling equipment. Material handling equipment is powered by gasoline or electric motors. Operators must be trained, certified, and authorized to operate motorized material handling equipment. Motorized material handling equipment can include the power wheelbarrow, the concrete mule, the freight elevator, industrial forklift, and rough terrain forklift. Training and certification are needed for all of those. Remember that. 
goes into more detail with the concrete mule, the freight elevator, and the industrial forklift. You always want to keep your load low uh, to not tip over the forklift. Workers must also stay clear of the fall zone. Consider the fall zone any area beneath the load into which the load can fall into. All right, so write that down. All right, as I mentioned before, to prevent tip overs, carry the load low. And coming up on the final two notes, we're talking about hand signals. The operator should be in contact with a support staff or some sort of help around the equipment outside of the fall zone. That is any area in which the suspended load could fall into. All right, when providing hand signals, make sure to keep eye contact with the operator. That's a note. All right, there's a variety of hand signals. You can go through these if you'd like. The most important to remember is dog everything, which means stop. Write that down. And that'll do it for module nine, section two, and that will complete this module. You have your notes, you have your study guide. Go ahead and get prepared for that exam, and thank you so much. All right, that was module nine. Hope you got all your uh, study guides and prepared for those exams. The ones you haven't taken, the ones you may need to retake. Anyway, thank you so much. Later.